God bless you. How many got something good yesterday? Please show me if you got something good yesterday. You are here, you're connected. Please tell me if you got something yesterday. You got something very nice. You've been impacted. You learned something. Pastor Deboah, que Dieu bénisse. Merci d'être connecté. Contact, que Dieu bénisse. Lodi, shalom. God be the glory. Yes, we are to know God the Father and His Son Jesus Christ. That's a good one. That's a nice one. Paris, shalom. Malate paroto se male calibrato velian se temaya. And Shalom Janet. God bless you. So, knowing God and Jesus is eternal life. God bless you. It looks like I only have Susan Koenange here with me. But anyway, you can join her also as she's doing so. God bless you. So, today we can have our Bible as well, our notebook, wherever you are. Just pick up your notebook and your Bible as we are going to dwell into the word of God. Uh, God bless you. As you're pleased, as you're coming in, just continue sharing this live. I believe it shall be a blessing to someone, a blessing to your family and your loved one. Just press the button, share, for that is the sharing of the gospel and the impartation of God's word to all our loved one and wherever you are. Yeah, Jesus is the kingdom. Mm. Glory to God. That's amazing. Thank you. It's amazing to God be the glory so today we are going to concentrate on the reading of the Word of God we're going to start reading in the book of John the book of John we are the portal of the kingdom of God on the earth that's a powerful one Suzanne thank you we are the portal for the kingdom of God on the earth that's a very powerful statement a very powerful one mm-hmm we go John chapter 3 or well, we can let's read the story of Nicodemus or you can come and say first of all hi to the people let's say let's let, let's receive the hi hello people of God hello hello mama is here nice to see you all again for this mm. wonderful service this time that we shall share again the Word of God mm. and I will be here to read for for us god bless you all as we share the word bless you uh, for the french people i don't know what to do but anyway i am here with them anyway <laughs> i'll be reading from the book of john chapter 3 from verses 4 john chapter 3 let's even start from verse 1 so we can know the the understanding okay. of the of the text from verse 1 mm -hmm. there was a man of the Pharisees there was a man of the Pharisees named Nicodemus named Nicodemus a ruler of the Jews yes this man came to Jesus by night and said to him mm. rabbi mm. we know that you are a teacher come from God mm. for no one can do the signs that you do unless God is with him this was Nicodemus who came to Jesus Christ he was a high priest he was a priest and a high priest and he came to Jesus by night like this night like today mm -hmm. Jesus answered and said to him mm. most assuredly I say to you yeah unless one is born again mm. he cannot see the kingdom of God. unless one is born again he cannot see the kingdom of God and I assure to you unless one is born again he cannot see the kingdom of God 
Nicodemus said to him, mm. How can a man be born when he is old? Mm. How can he enter a second time into his mother's womb and mm. be born? Mm. Jesus answered, No, Jesus answered, Most assuredly, mm -hmm. I say to you, Yes, unless one is born of water and the Spirit, no, Jesus Christ goes high and he says, Unless one, unless one, unless one, one person that is connected to not, unless one who is born again. Mm -hmm. is born of water and the spirit mm. he cannot enter the kingdom of god he cannot enter the kingdom of god in another word he has gone to another stage that unless one is born of water and born of the spirit that person cannot enter the kingdom of god i believe i have a mature congregation now online that have understood the meaning and the difference between the kingdom of heaven and the kingdom of God and the kingdom of the earth. And I told you as much there is many heavens, the first heaven, the second heaven and the third heaven that Paul spoke to us about that he was caught up in the third heaven. So there is different sort of heaven, there is different levels of heaven, there is different categories of heaven and there is different operation of the heavens. If you follow, if you follow of my teaching, I taught you about the heavens that are just made of sound, heavens that are, that are just made of light. So there are different sort of heavens. There are different sort of heavens. And that's why when people are taken to heavens, everyone comes with different stories. It's never the same. It's never the same look. Uh, for someone who say maybe then it doesn't exist because everyone comes with different story. The heaven is a different, is a big place. So the same way there is this art. The art you can travel to different nations. You can go to UK. You can go to to to, to America. You can come to Africa. That is just the art. That is just the art. Now the heavens, it's like different art, different levels of art. So imagine you can't even finish the whole art in one day. Or neither even in, in one year. You can't. So imagine that is just the first fair of the earth. Now there are different levels of heavens. Different levels of heaven. So many people when they go and they see heaven. It's depending which category. Which level of the heaven they have entered into. And where they have, they have visited into. And here is also the same thing here. The Bible say that the kingdom of God. And the kingdom of heavens the kingdom of god and the kingdom of the heavens and the kingdom of the earth and they explain to you that in the earth there are different sort of the kingdom when god made man he gave him dominion as we read yesterday in genesis chapter 1 from the verse 26 all the way to verse 28 that when the lord blessed man the bible say he told man have dominion so the ability to say have dominion it means I command you to have dominion and the word have dominion is connected with the kingdom manifestation because a king manifests dominion a king manifesting dominion a king manifesting dominion so the first adam manifesting the dominion of the kingdom in that which he came from or in that which he has been made he has been sent as the first adam to manifest dominion and to carry on the mandate of the dominion of the kingdom of God, which when I meet, when I when I when, when you hear me saying the kingdom of God, you understand that I'm talking about the invisible kingdom of God, the invisible kingdom of God that has made the invisible visible heavens to those that dwell in the heavens, and the invisible heavens to those that dwells in the earth. And I showed you that the earth has different categories of dominion. For the Lord said to the man, you shall have dominion over the hair, you shall have dominion over the sea, and you shall have dominion over every creep of things that walk it on the earth. So there are different levels of kingdom, and we can even read the book of uh, Ezra. The book of Ezra, Ezra chapter 1, from verse 1. Ezra, Ezra. Yeah, we have the hair, we have the, the sea, and we have the earth. Mm. Ezra chapter 1 verse 1 
Ezra chapter 1 verse 1 mm. says, mm. Now in the first year of Cyrus, king of Persia, yes. that the word of the Lord by the mouth of Jeremiah might be fulfilled, mm. the Lord stirred up the spirit of Cyrus, king of Persia, so that he made a proclamation throughout Barra all his Vikas. kingdom, uh -huh. and also put it in writing, mm. saying, mm. Thus says Cyrus, king of Persia. Now hear what the king of Persia say. All the kingdoms of the earth. 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 The Lord God of heaven. The Lord God. The Lord God of heaven. Has given me. Has given me. Has given me. Has given me. Let's go to the book of Luke chapter 4. When Satan took Jesus Christ. Or oh, Matthew even. Let's go to Matthew chapter 4. It's easier. Matthew chapter 4. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Matthew chapter 4. I will start from verse 1. Mm. Then Jesus was led up by the Spirit into the wilderness mm. to be tempted by the devil. Mm -hmm. And when he had fasted 40 days and 40 nights, mm. afterward... He was hungry. Mm. Now when the tempter came to him, mm. he said, If you are the Son of God, mm. command that these stones become bread. Mm -hmm. But he answered and said, mm. it, is written, it is written, Man shall not live by bread alone. Man shall not live by bread alone. But by every word uh -huh. that proceeds from the mouth of God. Good. Uh -huh. Then the devil took him up into the Now the Bible sea. said, Then the devil took him up. The devil took him up mm -hmm. into the holy city. Into the holy city. Set him on the pinnacle of the temple. Yes. And say to him, mm. If you are the Son of God, if you are the Son of God, throw yourself down. Yes. For it is written, uh -huh. He shall give his angels charge over you. Yes. And in their hands they shall bear you up, mm. lest you dash your foot against a stone. I hear you. Jesus said to him, mm. It is written again. You shall not tempt the Lord your God. Great. Again, yeah. the devil took him up on an exceedingly Again, high mountain. Again, the devil took him up in a... On an exceedingly... On a exceedingly high mountain. mountain. High mountain. So in a high mountain, that mountain is something to explain about. Mm -hmm. And showed him all the kingdoms of the world. And, and the Bible and say, he showed him all the kingdom of the world and its glory. And its glory. He showed him all the kingdom of the earth. So that means the earth is made of many kingdoms. There is a lot of kingdoms. And those kingdoms carry the glory in it. Mm -hmm. And he said to him. And he said to him. All these things I will give you if you will fall down and worship me. All these things I will give to you if you fall down. And worship me. And in other words, give me the reverence. Give me the honor. Give me the respect of a God that controls the system of the kingdom of the earth. Ladies and gentlemen, this is a topic about the kingdom. So we have to be very specific when it comes to the manifestation of the understanding of the kingdom. Because the number one thing that we should, we should really be keen into we are dealing with an enemies who understand the skills of the kingdom. And that enemy is the devil. He understood and is understanding the skills of the kingdom. But he has not the keys of the kingdom. And he has not the secrets of the kingdom. But he has the skills on some way, some way to understand how the kingdoms functions. Because the kingdom of the earth, him standing in the place... To tell the Lord Jesus Christ that these kingdoms, I will give it unto you. You and I, we know that the Lord Jesus Christ came as the second Adam to restore men back to God. In another one, to restore men back to the system of the kingdom of the unseen kingdom, which is the kingdom of God. Because he came with the message which we read yesterday, repent for the kingdom of God has come near you. And the devil says that this kingdom of the earth has been given to me. You know the secret that it was given since the book of Genesis chapter 1. When men fail, when men sin, 
the Bible says that Adam, which the kingdom of the earth, by God telling him have dominion, that we read in the book of Genesis chapter 1, by him taking the seed, by him eating the fruits, it was an ability to compromise to the dominion mandate that God gave to him to rule over the sea, to rule over the hair, and to rule over the, every creep of things. So in another word, they, uh, Adam had the dominion and had the mandate to dominate over any system that's happened in the hair, that every system that happened in the sea, every system that happened in every things that has to do in the earth. So in another one, he had the positioning of the power to control the kingdoms and the system of the kingdom. So the devil also was at work and the devil also was his previous mandate that he had on the earth. But this mandate has been given unto men to have dominion. So the devil was pursuing continually to restore back his power and his dominion that he had on the earth. Remember the purpose of God to bring the earth to become one with heaven and heaven to become one with the earth. But the devil is standing as a force and as a medium to resist the extension of the invisible kingdom of God from happening into the visible kingdom, which is the kingdom of the earth. And the devil is standing as a force and is standing as a God, a small God. He's standing as a force to resist the purpose of God to extend his will and his purpose for the earth to become one with heaven and heaven to become one with the earth. And therefore he has all this system that he has in plan, which Jesus Christ spoke to us in the book of Matthew chapter 24, on how his skill is doing it, in his skilling, in his skills, how he's planning things to do, on how he's planning to compromise the one, how he's planning to raise the Antichrist, how he's planning to set things, how he's planning to raise one religion. One religion whereby he shall rule and how he shall guide men and how he shall compromise the understanding of man, how he's planning all this system in order to bring up the Antichrist so that he can interfere with the plan of God of the Christ by setting the Antichrist or that it is the plan of the enemy to intercept and to override the mandates of God to bring his kingdom on the earth and the earth to become heaven and the heaven to become earth. Isn't it amazing that we are going to be in the world whereby or in the eternity whereby the world shall be as heaven and heaven shall be like the world. Everything shall be centralized in one place and the Bible says when that shall happen, God shall be in every place, in everything, and in every place. His presence and his glory shall rule in every day. Give praise unto God wherever you are in the name of Jesus, the Son of the living God. And therefore today we are going to dig more deeper to understand this revelation and to touch on this depth of God's will and God's purpose that he desires for us to touch so that we can have an understanding as believers on how far and how big God desires to take you and I to tap on a higher supernatural understanding for us to bring his kingdom on the earth and to rule in the system of the earth. Praise be the name of the Lord. So as a pastor, as a man of God, as a believer, as an intercessor, as a person that you are placed in the church, your duty is not just to come churchy church on Wednesday, Thursday or Friday or Sunday or Saturday or attending conferences or attending seminars and standing some services of churches, but the purpose shall be for you to understand the skills on how to bring the manifestation of the kingdom of God in the place where you are ruling and to override someone else's kingdom that was at work by influencing his powers and his laws to bind people, to imprison people, to afflict men, and to cause diseases and sickness, because that is the kingdom of the devil. His kingdom, his laws in his kingdom is to afflict men, to cause pain in men, because men took the place that was given to him before. So by anger, by jealousy, by hatred, by imposing his evil kingdom on the earth, by controlling the hair, by controlling the sea, and by controlling the, the, the earth, which was the same mission and the mandate that was given to Adam. But now the devil is controlling the hair by what we read yesterday in Ephesians chapter 2 verse 2, that he rules by operating by the prince of the hair, by causing powers and evil and compromising force and immorality and by leading men astray from the will of God. And that is the powers of the kingdom of God at work. So he set up himself and he set up things in the system so that he can control all this fair. That's why the sea, 
is controlled by those influence and that's why the act is it con is controlled by those influence and that's why even the hair is controlled by those influence why by the internet is it affected why by television is affected why by things is affected and that's why today a small music which is a worldly music in a few minutes it can have billion viewership and yet a music that is coming from heaven whereby someone has received inspiration by the holy ghost and for it to have billions it has to have a struggle why because the kingdom of satan has a force to operate over the system of the hair to block that which is coming to bring the kingdom of god on the earth so that his kingdom shall continue to blind the eyes of men and to block them from not seeing the light of the gospel according to second corinthians chapter 4 verse 4 but by the power of the name of Jesus, we have authority to override the kingdom of darkness and to bring down the powers of darkness under our feet. Shout with me a big amen wherever you are. By the power of the name of Jesus Christ. So they control the system of the hair. They control what is happening in the internet. They control what you learn. They control what can attract your attention, what can attract your vision, what can attract your face. They control all those things. They make sure so that none of your things none of your things to be able to capture the understanding of the will of god they don't want you to concentrate on the knowledge of god they don't want you to concentrate in knowing jesus and therefore that's why they brought the system in the hair on how they can control the system of men so that men they cannot have concentration on the personality of who is christ and who is god the father but by the ability of God's word, which is the gospel of Jesus Christ, the Bible says that he shall re lead us and redirect our eyes back to God and restore our hearts back to God. Say with me, back to God. Back to God. We can check in 2 Corinthians chapter 4, verse 4. If you have the Bible with you there, you can have more understanding of the 2 Corinthians chapter 4 uh, from the verse 4. That the God of this world, the God of this world, mm -hmm. Second Corinthians chapter four from verse four. Yes. Whose minds mm. the God of this age now, has blinded. Wa watch that word. Please mark that word and underline that word. He said, mm -hmm. Whose minds Whose minds the God of this age the gods of this age has blinded. Has blinded. We are going to learn something very, very deep. Please repeat that again. Whose minds? Whose minds? The God of this age. The God of this age. So is not an eternal God, for your proof. The devil is not an eternal God. Is only the God of this age. So we are still in this age. Mm -hmm. Who do not believe? Has blinded the eyes of men who of those who do not believe. Lest the light of the gospel of Lest the, glory... the light of the gospel. So in another word, you can only be delivered from the powers of his kingdom when the light enters you. When light enters you. When light enters you. And let me show you how he fights light not to enter you. Mm -hmm. Lest the light of the gospel of the glory of Christ. The Bible calls it the glory of Christ. Who is the image of God? Who is the image of God, which I told you, Jesus Christ is the image of God. The moment his light enters you, it attracts to him. Mm -hmm. Should shine on them. Should shine on them. For we do not preach ourselves. For we do not preach ourselves. But Jesus Christ but the Lord. But Jesus Christ the Lord. And ourselves. And ourselves. Your born servants of Jesus. Your born servants of Jesus. Which this one we know. Let's go to Matthew. Let's see now what is that light. Matthew chapter 13 verse 19. Or from 18 to 19. Matthew 13 from verse 18 to 19. Matthew mm -hmm. chapter 13. I will read from verse 18. Yes. Therefore hear the parable of the sower. Hear the parable of the sower. When anyone hears the word of the kingdom. Ah, not just anyone. Not just any teaching. And does not understand it. And does not understand it. Then the wicked one comes and snatches away. Here they are trying to hide him. The wicked one is the devil. So in another word, here it is not Satan demons. It is not the agent of Satan. But the Bible is talking about Satan himself. Where the message of the kingdom is preached. Not the message of deliverance. Not the message of the cross. Not the message of salvation. Not the message of grace. Not the message of faith. 
But the Bible says when the message of the kingdom is preached, the Bible says the wicked one. So that means the one who has backed wickedness. The one who, are, who, who is the origin of wickedness. The one who is the father of wickedness. The Bible says himself. He does what? Then the wicked one comes and snatches away. Comes and snatches away. What was sown in his heart. What was sown in his heart. When the message of the kingdom is not understood. And is not understood by man. Listen to me, people of God. We are dealing with, in this age, with Christians that are churchy going, but they have not understanding about the kingdom. We are dealing with men that are powerful in prayer and fasting, but they are lacking the understanding of the kingdom of God. And therefore, the enemy, the devil, is not threatened to men and women that are churchy going and they have not understanding about the kingdom. Because here the Bible says, when they hear about the kingdom and they have not understand they have not the understanding about the kingdom the bible says satan himself he comes and snatches even the little one that has entered in their hearts so that no man can have an understanding about the kingdom so the light that the bible is talking to us in second corinthians chapter 4 verse 4 it is the light of understanding that is supposed to enter as believer the moment that light enters you automatically it gives you access to the secrets of the kingdom. And the secret of the kingdom is the allowance to the believers to function as citizens, as powerful men in the kingdom of God. In another one, when we say breakthrough, breakthrough just means you have no keys and you are breaking by force. But a man who has keys, they don't need to break through. Men who have keys into doors and houses, they don't need to break through. But they will open it and they will enter. So the keys of the kingdom of God, it is an ability for you not to have a breakthrough, but to have an access that are paved by the Holy Ghost. And the reason why Christians are facing struggle, obstacle, and complication is because they are fighting in the place without keys. And keys are given to men that have the understanding of the kingdom. And the kingdom is subjected to men that are illuminated with the revelation of the kingdom. That's why Jesus Christ, when he asked the disciples, he said to them, what are men say, who am I? And this one say, you are the prophet, Elijah. This one said, the old prophet. This one said that. And the Bible said, Peter answered, he said, you are the son of God. That is the son of God. And he said, Peter, flesh and blood has not revealed this to you, but my father in heaven, my father in heaven. So revelation gives you an allowance and gives you and another one, let me say it in this way, revelation is an ability that proves a man that he has not encountered simply an angel, but he has encountered God directly. Because Jesus said to Peter, he said, flesh and blood has not revealed this to you, but my father in heaven, my father in heaven has revealed this to you. So the ability to know Jesus Christ is the key that you have encountered the king of the kingdom. Are you listening to me? So the ability to know who is Jesus Christ is the key that you have encountered the king of the kingdom. Because he said to Peter, he said, flesh and blood has not revealed this to you, but my father in heaven. So by the ability to have a proper revelation about the son of God is an ability that you have access the presence of the king that Moses was looking for. The presence of the king that Elijah was looking for. The presence of the king that the old prophet were looking for, which they had not the revelation. But the Bible says, but the revelation of who is Christ as the Messiah and the son of the living God, first gives you the ability that you have encountered the father and you have been established into the manifestation of the kingdom. Now, there is a, a super, is, there is a, uh, uh, a light way of knowing Jesus as the son of God. There is a light way also of knowing just Jesus Christ as God. But there is a deeper understanding of knowing him as the son of God. Now, that does not come by flesh and blood. In another one, you are not told. Someone has not just told you that Jesus Christ is Lord. But it came by revelation. It came by empowerment. Oh, Farikas Kuma Antele. It came by revelation that I know him. That's like John the Apostle said, we touch of this grace. 
he who dwell with the father he was now with us full of grace full of life full of power can you read that it's a very powerful scripture first john chapter 1 verse 1 he said we lived with him we abided with him we dwelt with him he was full of grace full of power mm -hmm. first john chapter 1 verse 1 mm. And it says, mm. that which was from the beginning. That which was from the beginning. Which we have heard. Which we have heard. Which we have seen with our eyes. We have seen with our eyes. Which we have looked upon. We have looked upon. And our hands have handled it. And our hands have handled it. My goodness. Mm -hmm. Concerning the word of life. Concerning Jesus Christ is now the word of life. Mm -hmm. The life was manifested. The life was manifested. And we have seen. And we have seen. And bear witness. And bear witness. And declare to you. And declare to you. That eternal life. Eternal life. Which was with the Father. Which was with the Father. And was manifested to us. And was manifested. No, eternal life was manifested. So Jesus is eternal life. Mm -hmm. That which we have seen and heard, yes. we declare to you. We declare to you. That you also may have fellowship You may with have us. fellowship with us. In another one, that which we have heard, that which we saw, now we are proclaiming it to you so that you can be impacted with the same dimension of eternal life that is at work inside of us. Hallelujah. He is the Son of God. So there is a higher dimension of revelation, not by information, but by revelation. Let me show the, the difference. The Bible said that the Magis, the king, to Herod, the king. Are you here with me? Give me a hands up for him. Give me a hands up. Give me a hands up. Give me a hands up. Thank you. God bless you. God bless you. God bless you. God bless you. You are here with me. As you are waving, let the touch of the Holy Ghost touch those hands. In the name of Jesus, the Son of the living God. Receive it, receive it, receive it, receive it, receive it, receive it. In the name of Jesus. Now watch this. The Magis, they came to Herod, the king. And they say, a king is born. A king is born. A baby is born king. They say, how? King Herod, he was a king. Without revelations and without informations. And therefore, King Herod gave a call to the specialists of laws. So those that are special in understanding the skills of the scriptures, like what we, we were in Greece, we saw such, saw such people. The specialists of the laws, they were there. And they went through the recording of the prophecy of prophet Isaiah. And they saw that surely there will be a baby that will be born and he shall be the Messiah. And he shall be king over Israel and he shall deliver Israel from his enemies. And guess what, people of God? King Herod got excited, but a negative war of excitement. And he said, Found for me, where is he going to be born? And they searched through the scripture. Imagine it was even in the scripture where Jesus Christ was going to be born. It was all recorded, it was all in information. And they searched that he was going to be born in a particular place called Bethlehem. And guess what? They directed even the specialists of the laws. I wish. Such people, when they hear such thing, they are supposed to go with the magis because here now comes the king. But guess what? They release the magis to go and do the search. Why? Because information kills, but revelation protects. Men with information, they kill because they have no revelation about that which has been enlightened to them. It has been given to them by flesh and blood. But the Magis, they had a revelation about the stars, but they had no information. So when you have a revelation, you connect with information for you to have guidance. Now we have a generation that is based on information and they are waiting for revelation. And yet God is calling us to have a revelation and then... We increase the revelation by informations. And that's why he said to Peter, he said, Peter, I will build on you because you know me now by revelation, not by information. Yet others know me by information as the prophets, as the saints that were supposed to come, as the holy one who was supposed to come. But you are different because you know me by revelation because the Father in heaven has shown it to you. 
I pray for you that the revelation shall come upon you in the name of Jesus Christ. So revelation is more stronger than informations. Because informations that you have no idea about causes you to kill. Because the specialists of the law, they kill the Jesus. But the one who has a revelation, they want to protect and honor the person of Jesus Christ. The Magis, they had a revelation because of the stars. And the revelation caused them to protect the baby Jesus from Herod. From the destruction that Herod was carrying. Because Herod was holding information. Today, we have religious people who have information about Christianity. Information about the Bible. They have information about things. People have information about how things should go. Church should go. Things should go like this. And yet, Christianity does not work by system. But it works by revelations. Today, churches are organized by system. By structures of system. And all those systems are good. But the system kills. But the revelation builds. As much we do the system, but it is the revelation that constructs something and builds something for eternity. I pray for you as you're listening to me that the revelation of the Spirit shall access you and cause you to rise up and to stand on top. Say with me a big amen wherever you are. Amen. And the Bible said they could not return back to Herod. Why? Because they had a revelation that Herod has information to kill the baby and not to protect the baby. Let there be a special revelation about the revelation of the King of Kings and the Son of the Living God and about Christianity. So the moment that you begin to know Jesus Christ as the Son of God by revelation, by revelation, it establishes your, your, affirm, your, your, your Christianity. It affirms your belief system. Whereby you are not shaken by left or right. But it is established by revelation that Jesus Christ is the Son of the Living God. So in another word, matters can come, situation can come. I can never look back. I can never renounce my Christianity. I can never say that Jesus Christ has abandoned me because of this and that or this and that. In the name of Jesus, anyone that was in a threat to break down from their Christianity, as you are the sound of my voice, I declare you receive divine rescue in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. And by this revelation, you shall have a proper revelation about who Jesus is the son of the living God. Amen. By the ability of having that spiritual revelation that Jesus Christ is Lord, it caused Jesus Christ to say to Peter, on you I shall build. On you I shall build. On you I shall build. Because men with information, you cannot trust them. But men with revelation, you trust them and you build on them. Men with revelation cease far. Men with revelation, they construct and they strengthen the destinies of lives of people. Are we together with you? To God be the glory. So the understanding of the kingdom is the light. The understanding of the kingdom is what Satan and the devil does not want to see in this age. Men should not understand. Men should understand the message of the blood. Men should understand the message of the, of the cross. Men should understand the message of the deliverance, deliverance ministry. Men should understand the message of the prophetic and the prophecy, how to fear prophets, how to fear things. But men should not understand the message of the kingdom. Because the moment you begin to understand the kingdom message and the revelation of the kingdom, automatically you will override the powers of his kingdom and you shall crush the powers of the serpent the snake and the moment the secret of the kingdom is begin to flow in your spirits it builds you up and gives you the upper hand over the system of the kingdom of darkness and how can this be possible how can you swim in the place Whereby you understand so much the message of the kingdom. Whereby you establish yourself in the powerful presence of the kingdom. And whereby you begin to manifest the dominion capacity of the kingdom. That was given to men to rule over the air. To rule over the sea. And to rule over the earth. And to manifest the powerful manifestation of the kingdom. That one man under the influence of my verse right now. When you are walking. You are carrying the power of the kingdom of God. The invisible kingdom. And you are carrying the power of the kingdom of heavens. All together included in one. Because Jesus said it. I and my father shall come and dwell inside of you. In another word. We shall come and make a dwelling inside of you. God the father. Papa God controlled the kingdom of God. 
which is the invisible kingdom. Jesus heads the kingdom of heavens. So in another word, when they come inside of you, kingdom of God, the invisible kingdom, and the kingdom of heavens are all concentrated in one man. And that man is a manifestation of power on the earth. No wonder when Paul is traveling to Asia, the whole Asia is under the control of the anointing of Paul. When he's flying into place where Paul is saying that we are not fighting against flesh and blood, but we are fighting against principalities and powers. And he said that many war against beast and system that you cannot explain just for delivering the gospel. So that means when he was moving, he was not just moving as an individual, but he was moving with the kingdom. And when a man who is moving in the kingdom is, is facing the powers, the principalities in the hell, and that's why he can write to us because he brought the manifestation of the kingdom of the earth and he brought down the manifestation of the kingdom of darkness. By what? He had the secrets. He had the secrets. And I'll tell you how he got these secrets. And what is the key for us to swim in the, in the secrets? What is the ability for you and I to swim in the secrets of the kingdom and to be touched by this dimension of the power? Can we check on the, that's the, the book that we started with? John chapter 3. Are you, are you here with me, people of God? Are you receiving something here? Mm -hmm. John chapter 3. From verse 5. I'll read from verse 5. Yes. Jesus answered, mm -hmm. Most assuredly, Most I, assuredly say you, mm -hmm. I say to you, I say to you, unless one is born of water and the Spirit. Now watch this. Unless one is born of, of water, water mm -hmm. and the Spirit. Now let's start from verse 5. That is verse 5. Mm. Or verse Jesus, 3. Let's go verse 3. three. Jesus answered and said to him, Jesus answered and said, Most assuredly I say to you, Most assuredly I say to you, Unless one is born again, Unless one is born again, He cannot see the kingdom of God. He cannot now. He started by saying he cannot see the kingdom, the kingdom of God. Unless of God. one is born again, that person cannot see the kingdom of God. Yes. I believe people understand the dimension of not seeing, seeing the kingdom of God. I talked about that. But now, he went on to say, there is a higher level because I just don't want you to see the kingdom of God. I just don't want you just to be, you know, a spectacular just to look in and see the kingdom of God. And he said now, continue verse 5. Verse 4. Mm-hmm. Nicodemus said to him, mm. How can a man be born when he is old? How can a man be born when he's old? Can he enter a second time into his mother's womb and be born? Uh -huh. Jesus answered, Jesus answered, Most assuredly I say to you, mm -hmm. unless one is born of water and the now spirit. Now, watch, watch the words of Jesus here. And he said, Unless one is born of water and the spirit. Water and the spirit. He cannot enter the kingdom. He cannot enter the kingdom of God. The kingdom of God. Take it very serious. Take it very serious. What is water? What is the spirit? Unless one is born of water, water and, and the spirit, the person cannot enter the kingdom of God. The kingdom of God. Take it serious. Then let's see Matthew chapter 7. Are you here, people of God? Matthew chapter 7. Mm. I will read from, from verse 21. 21. Mm -hmm. And the word of God says, yes. Not everyone who says to me, Lord, oh, Lord. Wait here. He said, Not everyone who says to me, Lord, Lord shall enter the kingdom shall enter wait a minute not everyone who says to me not everyone who says to me lord 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 so these people who are already saying lord lord you cannot say lord lord unless you have seen the lord mm. so he's talking about the first category of people that have seen the kingdom and since they have seen this kingdom, they are saying, Lord, Lord, Lord. 
Because they have seen the kingdom. Glory to God. Because the Bible says, Repent, for the kingdom of God has come near you. And the person who was the kingdom was who? Christ Jesus. In fact, he said it, if I can cast out demons, that means the kingdom of God has come near you. So that means those that are saying, Lord, Lord, they at least entered in the first ray to see the kingdom. In another one, this category of people are born again categories. Come on, people of God, are you here with me? So that means this category of people are born again category because who can say Lord if you have not believed? Hmm? I wish I had you here physically here with me. <laughs> Hallelujah. So that means this category of people, they have seen the kingdom. It is as the book, thank you Holy Spirit. It's like the book of Hebrew. The Bible says, for the saints that have seen the kingdom and they did not repent. Let's go to Hebrew, the book of Hebrew. Eh? So to help some people. Hebrew chapter 11. Hmm. I think let's read from verse 13. You'll see it from the verse 13 as we go down. Mm -hmm. Hebrew chapter 11 from verses 13. Mm. And the word of God says, mm. These all died in faith, mm. not having received the promises, mm. but having seen them afar off, mm. were assured of them, mm. embraced them, and confessed that they were strangers and mm. pilgrims on the earth. Mm. For those who say such things declare plainly mm. that they seek a homeland. They seek a homeland. And truly, if they had called to mind mm. that country from which they had come out, mm. they would have had opportunity to return. Mm. But now they desire a better, that is, a heavenly country. A heavenly country. We call it a heavenly country. But I'm looking for the place where the Bible says they have tested the powers of the kingdom to come they are tested of the powers of the kingdom and yet they decided to reverse that they have tested the powers of the kingdom so of the kingdom to come so the heaven to come the world to come actually they say they have tested of the power of the world to come you can just start that. Mm -hmm. they have tested of the power of the world to come thank you holy spirit of have you found it? Mm. Yes. And I've tested the good word of God and the powers of the age to come. Six chapter six chapter six verse five. Yes. Mm -hmm. I'm reading Hebrew yes. chapter six from verse five. Or oh, verse four. Let's let's mm. start from verse four. Mm -hmm. If it is impossible for mm. those who were once enlightened. Now look at that. If it is impossible for those that were once, so that means these people were once enlightened. Mm -hmm. and have tasted and they tested the heavenly gift the heavenly gift so that means the kingdom of God mm. they tested it uh -huh. and have become partakers of the Holy Spirit and have become partakers they were even partakers of the Holy Ghost uh -huh. and have tasted the good word of God they have tasted the good word of God which and all of us we are doing and the power of the age to come of the age to come if they fall away if they fall away to renew them again to repentance to renew them again to repentance since they crucify again for themselves the son since of god since they crucify for themselves the son of god mm -hmm. and put him to an open shame open shame yes for the earth which drinks in the rain that often comes upon it mm -hmm. and bears herbs mm. useful for those by whom mm. it is cultivated mm. receives blessing from God. Mm. But if it bears thorns and briars, mm. it is rejected and near to be to being cursed, mm, 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 whose mm, mm, end mm. is mm. to be burned. Whose ends to be burned. So that means this category of people, their end is to be burned. Yet they have seen the kingdom. Yet they are confessed, Lord, Lord, Lord. 
please don't 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 mistake in this this message of forever save you understand born again save forever save save forever save it's still from the western and it's still all that and african is borrowing it and they're saying it's a message of grace it's all false the ability to believe in jesus gives you the power to become it gives you the allowance to become by what following him he said you are not worthy to follow me if you can carry the cross that i am carrying so that means you have mandated to follow my step carry the cross the way i'm carrying until the end and that's why the bible says in philippians that he has given us the grace to suffer for him the grace to suffer for him so that means the grace to suffer for the gospel the gospel of Jesus. Look at how dangerous this it is. This is very dangerous. So that means they confess Jesus. They say, Lord, Lord, we cast out demons in your name. We join churches. We prophesied in your name. It's okay. That means it's a sign you have seen the kingdom. Like it was the case of the apostle. Like it was the case of Judah. He received the power. He received the authority. He received the anointing. Oh, well. He went to raise the dead. He went to cast out demons. He went to prophesy. But at the end, he lost it. For what reason? He saw the kingdom. Jesus was the kingdom. He confessed him as Lord. He said, I believe in you that you are the Messiah. But at the end, what happened? He did not hold in the faith. He didn't hold in the test that he tested. He didn't keep the manifestation of the fire and prayer. That's why, ladies and gentlemen, the fire that you lost, you must return back to fire. You should not tolerate when you see the fire that you started with going away. The glory that of loving, loving God, being in the church, giving into the church, the moment you begin to reduce, it is an attempt into losing the kingdom. Are you aware? Can you show them that the kingdom can be taken away? Kingdom can be taken away. It is in, let's read Matthew chapter 21 verse 43. The kingdom can be taken away. Matthew chapter 21 verse 43. Matthew chapter 21, mm. I am reading from verse 43. Mm. The word of God says, yes, God. Therefore I say to you, Therefore Jesus said, I say to you, the kingdom of God will be taken from you. The kingdom of God will be taken from you. It was yours. From you, that means it was a part of you. Taken from you. Mm -hmm. And given to a nation bearing the fruits of it. And given to the nation bearing fruits. Bearing fruits. This is the message. Oh my goodness. I don't know if I have time. Because I told you we are going to swim in this thing. And he said it will be taken away from you and given to those that are bearing fruits. And who are those that are bearing fruit? Not those that are saying, Lord. Not those that have seen. Not those that they can be with him. Like those who want to be with the Lord around him. Those who want to be. To see only. No. He said, do, we are not for those. The kingdom is not for those that are only seeing. Those that are just confessing things. Like the message just, if you only you say it, then it will just come. If you just say it, no. It's not just about saying it. It's about becoming and being what you are saying. Hallelujah. He said the kingdom will be taken away from you. So that means the kingdom can be taken away. People of God. These are the generation. This is the age. Where the devil is searching continually to take away the kingdom from people. Yet they had the Holy Ghost. The Bible says it, isn't it? They had the Spirit of God. They confessed the name of Jesus. Oh, let's just read John, uh, John chapter 1 verse 12 so someone can understand. I'm reading John mm. chapter 1 from verse 12. Mm. And the word of God says... Yes. From verse 12. But as many as received him. The Bible says as many. So that means it is a population of many people. That's what the Bible says. Jesus gave this parable of the kingdom. As a man who threw the nets in the sea. He picked up once. All sort of fishes. All sort of fishes. And the Bible says he picks it and he put it aside. Not doing the job of what? Removing the good from the bad. Guess what children of God? When we do crusades, when we go out and you see crusades, many people gather in. Many people come to receive Jesus Christ. Thousands and thousands. Billions and billions until today. 
Those are fish. He doesn't mean all oh, those people is okay. But in them, there are people that the kingdom is given. But the problem is not that they're given. It is the holding of the kingdom. It's the holding of the kingdom. That's what the Bible says. Work out your salvation without trembling and fear. So that means it's okay you have it, but keep it. Keep it. It is not a, it is here, it will just happen. It will, no, 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 no. There is a working of the kingdom. Imagine all these people are coming, they're coming to receive Jesus. They line up and they flood in that place. And they're confessing Jesus Christ is my Lord and Savior. Praise be to God. But guess what? These are fish taken out of the sea. Now there is another job to select the good from the bad. Removing the bad from the good. So when you come, when you come, now that is John chapter 1. He says what again? Please say. I'm reading John chapter 1 from verse 12. Mm. But as many as received him. As many we have come, we have received him. Europe has received him. America, Africa, Middle East, Asia has received him. To them he gave the right to become. The first thing he does, he said to them he has given them. The right to become. Come on, read me a verse on the power. I think it's in King James. Horabasato kaparato kabalibre. Zita porata kaibreto sende palaka telebreze. Oh, Father, we receive grace. We receive the kingdom. We receive light. We receive understanding. The ability yes. to hold in the salvation of God's grace for but eternity. Mm -hmm. As many as received him. As many has received him. To them gave he to power. Them, not to the world. That means there is this category. Through them, he gave them what? Power. These are the power of people to cast out demons. Power to, to, to liberate. Power to save. Power to heal the sick. Power to preach. Mm -hmm. Power to become the sons of God. 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 Even to them that believe Even on his name. to them that I believe simply in his name, he has given them power to become sons of God. To become. I like that word. It's a verb. It means you will become if you hold on in the salvation. That's what the Bible says. Stephen, hold, he, he hold on in the faith of God until when he was torn to death, he held the faith. He did not deny faith. He did not deny their faith. Peter, cross on the cross, died upside down on the cross. He did not deny the faith. Paul, he was dead in a bad way. He did not deny the faith. James, slaughtered by the sword. He did not deny the faith. All these people, they died bad death. In the end, they did not deny faith. Some suffered, and the history record that some of them they were thrown, they were kept in prison, and they were thrown in, in the lion's place and in the stadium, and they released lion, and they were all killing Christians that were confessing that Jesus Christ is Lord. The Christianity that today we enjoy. Lion came on them and ate them, and history record that they died smiling, looking up. They did not deny faith. Ladies and gentlemen, the complication that you encounter, the problem that you have, financial issue, just this complication, you want to deny faith. Jesus is warning us, saying the kingdom can be taken away. It can be taken away. We have to watch out the way we behave. We have to watch our way how we are in churches. We have to watch our lips, what our mouth here, what we speak. What we do, how we honor God. It's not like a man who is desperate to receive us in his kingdom. No, he's God. He's God. We are the one to be desperate, to seek him. So we have to watch our way. We have to watch ourselves. He 
See, the kingdom of God shall be taken away. I pray to you that you are listening to me right now. We shall walk until the end. That's why Paul made this prayer that I pray for you that you shall remain blameless until the perfect days of the, of the Lord. You shall remain blameless. And he said, I kept the faith and I fought the good fight of faith and I kept the faith. I kept the faith. So that means he fought the, fear, the fight of faith until the end. This Christianity is not a halfway. It is until we show. Until the end. No matter the battle, no matter the resistance, the opposition, I believe in him. I believe in Jesus. Like Captain Kuhlman will say, I believe in miracles. What is the situation that has caused you even to stay away from churches? To stay away from prayers? To stay away from churches because of prophets? Because of some stories? Are they the one who have the keys of the kingdom? Why are you giving men so much power like that? That's why you can't even go to church because so and so has done you this? Because so and so pastor has done that? What does he have to do with your salvation? What does he have to do with your relationship with God? Why are you including such people in your personal relationship with God? Was he there the day you accepted Jesus? Did you confess his name when you are confessing the name of Jesus? He has nothing to do with your salvation. Them standing, them not standing, keep the faith. Keep the faith. Don't say these churches of today. It is always the church. But confess Jesus Christ. Hold on the faith of salvations. Until the end. Until the end. Until the end. There's that song in Swahili. I love it. Pakamwisho or something like that. It's a very powerful one. Work out your salvation. Pakamwisho. Until the end. <laughs> I love that song. No, my, my wife doesn't like that song, but that song is very powerful. It's because in, in Kenya, it's only sung. It's sung in, it's sung, it's sung, that's why the devil wants to spoil the powerful song. Pamoja. It's such a powerful song. And yet people... Pamoja. Pamoja. Na we we. Pamoja na wewe katika safari yangu tutatembe ya na wewe Come on celebrate Jesus wherever you are celebrate Jesus bless his holy name It's a very powerful song as much people don't I love the song and it's a very powerful message song Hold on in your salvation. Hold on in the power of the salvation of the Lord. Know Jesus by revelation and not by informations. Can you just read again that powerful scripture? That they tested. They tested of the powers of the age to come. So that means this age, we read about it this age, right? That the God of this age... But we have tested not of this age, but the age to come. But the Bible says they tested it. But still, it was for nothing. Mm -hmm. John chapter 1 from verse 12. No, uh, it was Hebrew chapter 6 oh. from the verse 4. Mm -hmm. Pastor, men of God, women of God, you are here connected with me. Let nothing break you down. Where there is no even power, whereby you are seeing members abandoning, why you are seeing people not supporting you, hold on on the faith. Hold on on your faith. It's better people to abandon you, but you don't abandon your faith. Not abandon your salvation to God. Don't abandon your salvation to Jesus. Let's go. Mm -hmm. For it is impossible. For it is impossible. For those who were once enlightened. For those that were once enlightened. And have tasted of the heavenly gifts. Have tasted of the heavenly gifts. And were made partakers of the Holy Ghost. And were made partakers. People of God even partakers of the Holy Ghost. Partakers of the Holy Ghost. Wow. Mm -hmm. 
and have tasted the good word of God. And have tasted the good word of God. And the powers of the world. My goodness. To come. And the powers. My goodness. This is it. The powers of the world to come in this world. Then Satan is nothing. It's nothing. Uh huh. If they shall fall away, if they shall fall away, to renew so, them, so that no, if they shall fall away and to renew them again, unto again and to repent, and so that means there is a room for them to fall. Also, there is a room for them to be restored. It is through repentance. But the Bible says, if there is no repentance, then there is no way to be restored back to the kingdom. What a way! What a way! I don't want to be described. What a way! We don't want, you and I, we don't want to be described. We are tested to dwell. We are tested to abide. We are tested to stand. We are tested to hold on on God no matter what. We are tested. Thank you, Holy Ghost. Thank you, Holy Ghost. Now let's finish that by Matthew chapter 7. That scripture for verse 21. Matthew mm, 7 21 Matthew chapter 7 from verses 21 mm. and the word of God says mm. not everyone that saith unto not me, everyone as many as much have received it not also not everyone who said unto me unto me Lord 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 so that to as many that have believed in me even believe in my name he has given them power. So this is the category we are talking about. Mm -hmm. Shall enter into the kingdom. Shall of enter into the kingdom of God. So that means this category of people who just simply say, Lord, 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 is a very critical place. We should not abide there. It is a starting place, but we should not abide there. It is our starting point, but we should not abide there. Are you listening to me, my people? The people of God. We should not abide there. It is a starting point. But we have to go deeper. The deep that the Lord and the depth that the Lord is calling us is to enter and not just to confess. And not just to say it, but to enter. We desire to enter. That's, I mean, that's the reason why we fast. That's the reason why we do all this. That's the reason why the Bible says, forget not the, the fellowship, fellowship of, of brethren. the brethren. Today, COVID has come to cause these problems that people to forget the fellowship of the brethren. They prefer to watch uh, services online, like today in the US and all over. They, oh, now I watch online. I watch online. Guys, the kingdom, the kingdom. You got to watch out. Watch out. Watch out. Let's close it. Lord, Lord, shall enter into the kingdom of shall heaven. Shall enter into the kingdom of heaven. But he that doeth the will of my Father. But now, tomorrow... We are going to touch on the dimensions of entering. You will hold the keys. You will hold the keys. Come on, shout wherever you are. Hallelujah. And therefore, I think tomorrow I will not come on Facebook. I'll be on Zoom. So, please... If you love these teachings since Glory yesterday, Father, yeah, there's still a physical service in our in our church CLJ Maranatha ministry. If you have been loving this teaching, if you have been very very touching by this teaching, I will advise you just to make your way in CLJ Maranatha ministry. As we just said, don't forget the brethren, the fellowship of the brethren. Yes. Or if you say really no, I have my church. Uh, but I would love to watch online, then please, the numbers of the ministries are here, they will send you the link of Zoom. The link of Zoom. The link of Zoom. They will send you the link of Zoom. 
So please, uh, can someone help me with which number that uh, you can contact the ministry so that you can be in continuations of this teaching. If this has been a very blessing to you, tomorrow I'm going to expand more even to people who are in business. Tomorrow I'm going to expand more in people in ministry in all the mountain. Remember, Satan took Jesus in the high mountain, highly, exceedingly elevated. And he said, all this kingdom, I will give it unto you if you can only worship me and bow before me. So tomorrow, you're in the business, you're a businessman, you are in the marketplace, uh, even people at work. Please, it's a teaching that you should not miss out. Remember, the teaching of the kingdom is what shaked the kingdom of the enemy. So please, uh, please, someone, please write to me uh, the numbers of the ministry. If you, under, you, have, you want the number of the ministry for you to follow up with us and to continue with the, this teaching, please don't fear. Write, uh, write to us right now. Just write to us if you want. Just write to me. Write to me right now. Just say, I desire, I desire, I desire to follow. I desire to finish this teaching. So they'll send you the, the link. Please write to me right now. As someone is writing the numbers of the ministry, please thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, Holy Spirit of God. Thank you, Holy Spirit of God. Thank you, Holy Spirit of God. Please do so. Just write it, write it. Is there someone that's waiting for the ministry number? Please, people, people are waiting for the ministry number. Please write it right now. Please write it right now. Oh, wait, can you help me? Can you just, can I mention it because no one is writing? I don't know. 0706 0706 639 639 476 476 Yep. Joe J. Opio, I desire to finish a teaching. Please just write this message. Write the message in this number 07 06 06 639 639 476. 476. Let's repeat it again. 0706. 0706. 639. 639. 476. 476. Unfortunately, the people there, they should have actually write it down. But they are right connected, but they are not, they are not doing it. But they should actually do it for you. But thank you. As you just write the number right now. Just write the number right now. And then... Thank you, actually. Someone from Europe has written it. Daniel Mungok. <laughs> God bless you. Thank you. So that's the number, please. Uh, uh, do send a message. Already I can see her. Dan Kamsena. Uh, Kuma Ernest. Oh, is that Prophet Anas? Oh, God bless you. Thank you for tuning in. God bless you. Um, we have Irene, who said, Desire... Uh, French people also are asking, Patricia is asking, all, all those people, please, you can just write the number there and it shall be a blessing to you. The Lord bless you. God bless you. Am I going to, I'm now going to pray for you today for a divine enlightenment to enter your hearts that you shall be enlightened with the power of the understanding of the spirit. God bless you. Someone I say, I am blessed by the word tonight. It's life-changing someone. God bless you. Let it be so. God bless you. All those that to desire the continuity of this message, just please contact this number 0706639476. Contact it and then tomorrow they'll send you the timing of the services. What time the service is starting so you can join on in the Zoom. Uh, if you are there physically, you can also join physically to the service tomorrow. We are going to be there. And the place and the location, thank you, Betty B. Uh, thank you very much. That lovely. The physical address location is the uh, Enterprise Road, Avon Center, Absa. Avon Center, Absa. You can just Google it and uh, it shall lead you to the map for you to get into the place where the service is. The timing shall be sent to you and the timing that I shall come live, all it shall be sent to your message in your WhatsApp. And you shall be connected with us and the Lord shall be glorified. The kingdom message should be given everywhere and the Lord shall receive all praise and glory. Are you blessed to the people of God? Are you blessed with? Are you blessed? Are you blessed? Are you blessed? Are you blessed? Show it by your hands. Show it by your hands how much you are blessed today by receiving the message of God's grace today. 
To God be the glory. Oh yes, God bless you. God bless you, God bless you. We are all working for the kingdom. And that's where Paul said, He shall keep me. He shall protect me from falling. And he shall keep me until the end without blemish and without complications. He shall keep me. He shall protect me. He prayed that prayer for all his sons and daughters. And he prayed for himself that he shall guard us. He shall protect us until the end. It is time to start loving the kingdom. It is time to start loving God. Loving the things of God. Loving the things of the church. Loving the things of the church. Because we just said it yesterday. Where your, your treasure is, that's where your heart will be. So we start loving the things of God. Start investing in the matters of God. Start abiding in the things of God. Jesus called it the business of my father. The business of my father. So it is time to start flowing in the understanding of the kingdom. And to start believing that surely there is the kingdom of God. And I'm dwelling into it. You are dwelling into it. To God be the glory. Shout a big amen wherever you are. Amen. God bless you. God bless you. And children of God, yesterday, obviously, there was an instruction that I gave to everybody. And that's from midnight of today, be it the new month and the second uh, half of the year of 2024 that we have entered. It's always important to raise sacrifices, to give praise unto God, believing. Remember, we are in the kingdom. It is not about churchy things, churchy things. It is about the kingdom. Yet the church is connected to the kingdom, but it is the understanding of the kingdom. And therefore, the kingdom of God is made of sacrifices and honor unto the king. So we sow and we raise altars to bring the manifestation of the kingdom. Remember, the altars was elevated by Abraham to bring the fulfillment of God's will concerning his life. Tomorrow we are going to learn a lot. And we are going to touch in a lot, a lot of things. Many things will make sense to you and I. So by the ability to invoke the kingdom, the sacrifice counts, prayers count, our gatherings count, our fellowship counts, many, many things count, and the Lord shall be glorified. And to him alone be the glory, so your sacrifices are blessed, and the raising of your sacrifices are blessed. And guess what, ladies and gentlemen, we're still in our project of buying the land for CLG Maranatha. It is not the land for Prophet Jewel. It is not the land for, 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 for people. But it is the land for the kingdom of God. It is the land for the kingdom of God. When that land shall be established for the church, the glory shall not be given to Prophet Jewel. The glory shall not be given to people, but all glory shall return to God who loves his church and who wants his church prosperous and being established. So we cannot say that we are of God. And we are not a part of God's vision and mission. We should know what is the heartbeat of God. If he desire that we should buy it by now in the month of June, then we should not be in delay before the eyes of God. By holding God by our necessity, desires, and needs. But sometimes we have to close our eyes to accept God's needs so that his church is established and his glory is seen in our life. You are here, you can listen to me. You love God. You love the church of God and you desire the kingdom of God to come on the earth as Nicodemus, then you are part of this project of raising altars, of the establishing of the church to buying the land. His church should dwell in his own place, that we shall have his own place to glorify God and to praise God in peace. Not under a place whereby is manipulated by people who are worshipping other gods, idols, and that is a place where also, you and I, we are entering in those mall on whole. But we should be in a place whereby it is perfectly consecrated for God. And the Lord shall be glorified. This is a message to you. And the Spirit of God to convince your heart that by now, whatever things that you have, that you are putting towards the pay bill of CLJ Maranatha land contribution of his own land, that the Lord shall be glorified. Many of you have done so. All over the world, sons and daughters, I mean, even individuals that have not seen or maybe they have not stepped even in CLG Maranatha or they watch from afar. But 
they are part of this movement. I mean, from the bottom of my heart, I pray from the from the bottom of my heart that the God that reigns in eternity shall remember you and fructify the works of your hands and bless you. So thank you for all those that are there. Is the pay bill? Thank you, uh, media team, for coming on live. God bless you. It is four one three four two two one. And if you are outside the nation of Kenya, maybe you want to do bank transfer, please you can just contact the numbers that we have spoke here, the numbers of the ministry. They will give you all the details of the bank transfer of the church. And maybe you want to do PayPal also. All the details of PayPal are here with us. There is always for you to do your transfer for the mandates of the mission of the kingdom of God. The Lord shall be glorified and the Lord shall be exalted. And the Lord shall bless you and remember us. Thank you for your good hearts and thank you for loving God and showing him that you are a loving God towards me and towards all that concerns me. Thank you very much for this time and for giving your attention right now to this message. Tomorrow, see you on Zoom in the presence of God. Can I pray for the people right now? Whenever the message of the kingdom is preached, there is miracle, signs and wonders, deliverance and healing. The power of God is in place. Thank you, media. I can see PayPal there. There is the PayPal. God bless you. You can do transfer of PayPal towards the project. You just say project towards the land and the Lord shall be glorified. Thank you very much. Can I pray for you that you are connected right now? I see the presence of the Spirit with us and the power of God is here. I stretch my hand towards you and I pray. As my hands are open, I declare the hand of God to be open over your life. That wherever where you are and you are connected right now, the supernatural is coming to you. The presence of the Lord to touch you from the crown of your head to the soles of your feet. Receive the supernatural touch of the spirit of the living God. That shall enable you to carry understanding in the matters of the kingdom. Be empowered by the power of the Holy Ghost. That anything that held you captive, sickness, diseases, complication, dryness and curses. I hereby stand to decree and declare. The curses are broken into pieces in the name of Jesus. I decree and declare, receive the mighty establishment of God's hands over your life, your household, your family, your finances to receive the deliverance for you have had and believe in the word of God. Receive the touch of the Holy Ghost and be set free from oppressions, from hostility, from diseases and from all sorts of complications. Be set free by the power of the name of Jesus, the Son of the living God. I command the forces of the enemy to lose you and be set free in the name of Jesus Christ. I declare you are covered, you are secured, and covered in the blood of Jesus. The Lord's hands will rest upon you and deliver you out of the traps of the enemy and be set free from anything that distresses you and stressed you, anxiety and anxiousness. Be free in the name of Jesus, the Son of the living God. And I rebuke the spirit of death. I rebuke any incidents and accidents. I bind it and I rebuke it in Jesus' mighty name. I declare the peace of God over you. I speak life to those that are in bed of hospital. Receive healing. Receive healing. Receive healing. I receive the peace of God in the name of Jesus. I declare the love of God to cover you. And open door. I see financial breakthrough. I pray for you that in the name of Jesus, grace and visitation to come upon your life. In abundance in the name of Jesus, your seed be blessed. And the Lord waters your seed by the power of the supernatural God's grace. In Jesus' precious mighty name, we shall be big amen. Amen. Tomorrow, I'm going to have an online prayer event for financial breakthrough. Remember, this month is the month of Jehovah Jireh. So, God is my provider. So, after the teaching tomorrow, as you join in numbers, we are going to do a prophetic deliverance of financial capability and capacities. That the power of the Lord shall touch you and touch your finances, your projects shall be touched miraculously by the power of the Holy Ghost. Don't forget your seed. Don't forget your altars. I think we should raise something with number six. Don't hit me. Number six because six months are remaining. Number six. You can just do number six. Number six. It's a very good number as well. It's a very powerful number. If you didn't know. It's on the sixth day that man was created. So number six is a very powerful. So we're just writing number six. We're going to show number six for the rest of the month. Which is the rest of the month remaining. Number six. We're going to raise that sacrifice right now. Wherever you are. You're going to raise that number. And we're going to bless, bless it and pray with you. In the name of Jesus Christ. See you tomorrow in CLG Maranatha. Uh, from the timing. We're starting from 10 a.m. 
10 a.m. Kenyan time. So 10 a.m. I think we'll come live 10 a.m. 10 30 or 11. And then I'll take the mic. They'll send me one time. All the details shall be in our in our page of CLJ of CLJ Maranata and Prophet Jua. Just follow it. You see all the details and be connected, and the Lord shall be glorified. And guess what? I am in Europe. We are in Belgium right now. As I said yesterday, we are moving to Germany. We're going to be Germany with my sons and daughters in that place. I'm so excited to be there with them. And the Lord shall show them mercy. And by His grace, we're going to be in the land of Switzerland for three days. From the 7, 8, and 9. We're going to be there for a powerful time of a conference with uh, the men of God, Pastor Celestino. If you're in Europe, in, 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 in Switzerland, you can't miss this for anything. If you have friends, you have loved ones, Please do send them to this program. Don't just be listening and watching. Send them for the power of God shall touch them and the Lord shall deliver them. Call them tonight. Send them messages and tell them there is a program in Switzerland coming and there is also a program in Germany. We are going to be there and the Lord is going to do us a lot. And then I'm coming to France. Paris. I'm going to be in Paris for three programs very, very powerfully in the week of the 10th. So the 13, we're starting on the 13 of Wednesday. And when we're going to have a two program on the Sunday. So all that week, we're going to have a very powerful time in Paris. The Paris, the land, people say the land of love. Anyway, the land of love is the kingdom of God. <laughs> God bless you anyway. I'm going to be in Paris. So please tell your loved one on all those programs to us to be there and to be present. And the Lord is going to do us a lot of good. To God be the glory. In the name of Jesus Christ. Right now, I recommend you to God and to the word of his grace, which is able to build you up and to give you inheritance among those that are sanctified. If you are here, you desire to return your life to Jesus and to give your life to Christ. Say with me, so Lord, I believe that you are the son of God. Today, I receive you in my heart. I receive you as my Lord and Savior. Lord over my body, Lord over my soul, Lord over my spirit, all the days of my life. In the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Jesus. I receive eternal life. And I'm a child of God. My sins are forgiven. In Jesus' precious name, I pray. Amen. Amen. Lovely people of God, I love you. God bless you. See you tomorrow on time. I mean, God bless you. And I hope tomorrow I will be delivering much that the Lord will want me to deliver. Because it is big and it is great. Share this, please. Share already this one. There are many people that want to hear this. As tomorrow we are going to another level. Please click the button that is there. Share this live to your loved one. Please share it and do bless someone. I love you all. See you then.